this doesn't end. All right. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. As you know, it's Friday, so that means we welcome the guests first. So let's do that. After every podcast, she dumps Gatorade on her guests. Host of the Sideline Sanity Podcast, Michelle Tafoya. <laughs> He has the body of a model. Buried in his basement, comedian Jim Florentine. Like a hedgehog, she's prickly but lovable and eats worms. Fox News contributor, Cat Tip. And finally, Bigfoot reports sightings of him. <laughs> My massive sidekick in the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> now, before we get to some news stories, it's Friday, so we're gonna do this. Greg's Leftovers. Mmm. Yeah, it's Leftovers, where I read the jokes we didn't use this week. And as always, it's my first time reading them, and when they suck, I die a little every time. <laughs> so here we go. A new study shows divorced or single senior citizens are more likely to develop memory loss, as opposed to married women who never forget anything. <laughs> uh, yeah. Old-timey humor. That's old-timey humor. <laughs> Damn, wife! A transgender cyclist won first place in a woman's event this week. She claimed the win made her feel just like Lance Armstrong, except she has two testicles. <laughs> Science. <laughs> All right. Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz has stepped down after a 41-year career with the company. At his retirement party, he was given an engraved mug with his name spelled wrong. <laughs> Former President Donald Trump is facing threat of arrest for allegedly paying hush money to porn star Stormy Daniels. His lawyers say it's not the first time she's ignored a gag order. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, a new study shows aircraft noise can cause heart damage, especially if what you hear is, welcome to spirit air. <laughs> so mean. Video has surfaced of Anthony Fauci going door to door in a DC neighborhood to talk people into getting the vaccine. He was also selling those little cookies he makes in his tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finally found someone shorter than me. <laughs> Keith Olbermann was spotted outside Trump Tower this week. I was in the area, so out of respect, I let him squeegee my windshield. <laughs> he really is. He's a homeless weirdo now. <laughs> How mighty. He's fallen. Is that the phrase? Who cares? Schools in L.A. closed this week due to a teacher strike. And until teachers return to work, this leaves thousands of students with no one to have sex with. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 it's true. Al Franken hosted The Daily Show this week. Ugh. There's no joke here. We just really hope he... <laughs> We hope he gets back on his feet soon. <laughs> yeah, California saw more torrential rain this week. To stay afloat, hundreds of Angelinos were forced to latch themselves to a Kardashian's ass. <laughs> According to a new survey, dog owners say 36% of their conversations are about their pets. Yeah, we know, said my entire staff. <laughs> Yeah, you talk about that, too. <laughs> All right, an international team of scientists have created the first full map of a fly's brain, but they say the most difficult part of the procedure was folding the map. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like that joke. <laughs> it's a really small map. 
Finally, Columbia University, University, and I'm not drunk. <laughs> Columbia, this is what happened to I drink coffee before, uh, anyway. Columbia University released a video promoting Hillary Clinton's new foreign policy class. Students say they're excited to take the course, but are concerned she'll keep deleting their emails. <laughs> All right. Now, before, uh, before we get to some stories, let's quickly check in to see what's going on in Florida. Florida Station of Counties waves in opposition. Pamela Birch Fort, Florida State Conference of NAACP Branches, waves in opposition. Anita Dick is an opponent. Waves in opposition. Holden Hiscock is also an opponent. Waves in opposition. God, I'm a sucker for that stuff. Seems like a pretty normal meeting to me, so let's move on. The TSA gets trippy when it comes to bringing Skippy. Yep, it's an effort to ban your precious jar of Peter Pan. This week, the TSA tweeted that peanut butter is in fact a liquid and subject to the same security rules as all liquids. So in other words, pack up everyone, the terrorists have won. <laughs> they cite the scientific definition of what a liquid actually is, something that has no definite shape and takes the contours dictated by its container. It's no wonder this lady now has to take the train. <laughs> but hey, when it comes to science, I defer to the guy who grabs my junk for a living. <laughs> uh, so this is big news that peanut butter is a liquid. Perhaps it's just a slow one. The Brian Kilmead of liquids, if you will. <laughs> But I always thought it was a butter because it's called peanut butter. It's not called peanut juice or peanut water. Therefore, the TSA is wrong, but can you blame them? It's an agency under the watchful eye of this guy. <laughs> a dude who literally looks like a peanut. <laughs> Technically, with this definition, everything on Earth is a fluid. Our cells are fluid. You, and, and, and by the way, who travels with peanut butter? Mm. Well, apparently... Except, aside from Jim Norton, but I, go ahead. I think it was a priest or someone who tweeted that they got stopped for their thing of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking, okay, why are you bringing that much peanut butter on a plane? Okay, I, so now toothpaste is also considered one of those things you have to put in the plastic bag. Right. That's a paste. So I could see peanut butter being sort of the same as a paste. Look, there need to be procedures. I get all that. Here's the practical thing. If I'm Peter Pan or Skippy or Jif right now, I am marketing travel size packages of peanut butter mm. that you can put in those Ziplocs, same size, 3.4 ounces, put them in the travel aisle, put them next to the peanut butter. I don't know. That's what they want you to do. <laughs> and then they've yeah. won, right? And then they've really won. I, uh, you know, mashed potatoes are kind of similar to peanut butter. That's what I'm saying. I mean, really, you're talking about something that is neither a liquid or a solid. Like you said, perhaps a paste. A paste. A paste. Oh, I saw this happen, though. When? The year was 2016. Mm -hmm. okay. Why? Tell me about there it. There was this woman wearing Lululemon leggings who absolutely tore into her husband for putting the almond butter in the carry-on instead of checking it. Really? Yeah, she yelled at him. She called it unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I will never forget it because they took it. But, like, this is how the government works, right? Because she was mad at her husband mm -hmm. when really she should be mad that there's no legitimate reason why you can't bring almond butter on the plane mm -hmm. or the fact that the TSA costs us billions of dollars a year and multiple studies show that they miss up to 90% of the, you know, mock explosives and weapons that they try to get through in trials. Mm -hmm. But that's how the government works. It gets us to all yell at each other and there's a distraction from all the abuses of power and tyranny going on and that's what allows it to continue. There you go. So true, so true. <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah, you know. I also wonder if they're still married. Yeah, they probably are. I often bring almond butter uh, on flights, but then I always leave it in the bathroom. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a great moisturizer, Jim. <laughs> How you doing? Good. I Look, I actually agree with the TSA. Cause, really? Like, if you think about it, if, if a man could be a woman, why can't peanut butter be a liquid? There we go. <laughs>
But seriously, who was bringing peanut butter on a plane? Like, are they using that for a snack? Yes. <laughs> like, are they going to whip it out? Giant celery <laughs> stick. Guy's got to think he's got a giant celery stick. Right, I've never sat next to a guy who goes, hey, man, you got any crackers? I go, no, I don't. No. And, that, and if, someone, if some guy's bringing on, a, like, a vacation, you think his wife's going to be happy? He's like, hey, let's go to a local restaurant. He's like, I got the peanut butter. <laughs> I bought the peanut. What are we going out for? We got yeah, look how much money we save. Yeah. Maybe they'll let us sit. At a table <laughs> while I eat this. And you know, at some point, someone's going to put like a vest around the around the jar and say it's their emotional support <laughs> snack, <laughs> and then they're going to be able to bring it up. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's good. That's good. I wonder though, Tyrus, do you think that maybe there was a, they were aware of a threat? Involving peanut butter? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, the plane's going down. Someone smeared peanut butter in a pilot's eyes. Oh no, it's everywhere. It's on the windows. It's. Wait. Oh, we can. Never mind, we're good. We got rid of it. <laughs> Problem diverted. <laughs> the whole point. Here's the deal human beings are what? 80% water, so I guess none of us should get through. Exactly. Like, this is stupid. No water bottle. Then I just walk through and buy a water bottle. Mm -hmm. So again, what is the point of this? Yeah. Looking for peanut butter, like I used to get uh, when I brought protein powder with me, I was like, they're like, oh, this is a powder, you, you can't bring it through. I said, well, I don't have any water, so I can't mix it. Yeah. And then put it on the plane, and once we get elevated, it explodes and everybody loses weight. Like, this is stupid. <laughs> like, focus on keeping us safe. I heard too that they that people who like to smuggle pot will stick it into the peanut butter and smuggle it. Oh, that's a great Isn't idea. Isn't that a great idea? <laughs> I've been Wait a minute. Helpful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I've sorry. heard that. Or, or to put it in their ass. <laughs> <laughs> the drug dogs are going to love that. How can you put a. You know what I mean? They'll be all over. Put a jar of peanut butter in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to try. But... <laughs> oh, like, you, like you haven't already. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We are all dumber now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad we did this topic. <laughs> learned a lot. You smeared us all. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.